Hi everybody, welcome back. We're movie related and we are doing our series Guys Watch Chick Flicks. And you know what? We've watched two so far and we came out saying they were both really good. Hmm. We've done Legally Blonde, we've done Bridget Jones's Diary, and then we got challenged to this one. We got challenged. By me. <laughs> That's no surprise. Well, it has been one of the biggest female movies in the last 20 years. But is it a chick flick? Uh, I didn't go see it in theater, did you? I'm guessing the only people in the theater were chicks and the guys who could not say no to their chicks. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm skipping ahead, but of all the women who went to see this in the, in the theater... Yes. Do you think that they were watching it and saying, wow, this is a complete girly movie? Or do you think they're thinking, no. is I this for I... me or is this for guys? Except, I, I wish I had some singles. Except that's not our definition of a chick flick. Is A chick flick is a movie geared specifically for a female audience. And this, and this is 100% geared towards a female well, it's audience. Just there, there was a lot of content in here geared towards the male audience. Was it? <laughs> like, in case you're what? wondering, in case you're wondering, we're talking about Magic Mike, mm -hmm. the male stripper movie. Is that what it was about, though? I... Well, well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let's, let's do a quick synopsis of the movie. Sure. Paul, why don't you tell us what this movie was all about? Uh, okay. Uh, you it have... was about a 10. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you have uh, this guy. He's pretty good looking, but he's he's a loser. He can't keep a job, uh, and he goes to a construction site for one of those you know pay me under the table things. And you know he knows nothing about construction. He gets the job off a of Craigslist. He lied, says he has experience, and uh, he meets uh, Channing Tatum's character, Magic Mike, who is also moonlighting as a male stripper. And so he brings him in, and uh, because he's fairly good looking, they give him a shot on the stage. And it, he kind of takes and him under his wing. High jinks ensue. He does well. It's, it, it's, it's, it's basically a story. Magic Mike is Chainham Tanning. That's his character. What? What? What did you call him? I call him Chainham Tanning. Channing Tatum. <laughs> Channing Tatum. Jeez. <laughs> I get I get tongue tied when I talk about him. You're having a stroke. I am. <laughs> okay, it's basically a male strip club movie, and they try and throw in some side plots about him dating the new guy's sister, and he's trying to start a business, but he doesn't have a credit rating, and he's trying to raise all this cash, and he wants to open up a furniture making. Thing where he takes stuff off the beach and makes furniture out of it like all these side stories that, That's there and that's the main side story is him and the sister, right? Not even the kid like he's he's making What I only assume is hundreds of thousand dollars a, a year stripping but wants to make custom furniture That's his that's his passion No He's got a grand total savings of thirteen thousand dollars well that's his savings but what he's actually one dollar at a time yeah he's not making a lot of money the club itself is not making a lot of money that's why they want to move to miami to yeah make the money the group of uh, guys is run by uh dallas and they keep talking about moving to a to a waterside property being the hottest male strip club in miami right. and that's the goal eventually where the big time is going to happen Right, because they're in Tampa right now. They're in Tampa. Yeah. I guess that's not the male strip club capital of the world. Mm -hmm. Now, I will give say one thing for this movie. It did make me rethink all my things I've done through life physically. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> like the cookies? Like the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and the everything else I've ever eaten in my life and the non-exercise that these guys have done to get in the shape that they're in. Right. Okay, I will give it that. The um, only thing that could have made this better was for... Ryan Reynolds to be in it. Right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that would have and been Tom awesome. And Tom Cruise do a ca cameo come out. Right. But other than that, um, this is kind of like a, a very low, you would think high energy movie, lots of dancing and lots of fun stuff. Ha but they when they go off on this party boat, 
that they head off to. It's like a very calm. It's very. They're just sitting there. They're just taking a beer and they're talking. They're trying to show they're you. They're chilling. They're trying to show you they're real people, man. But these are all strippers. The sandbar. Hey, so when you picture strippers in your head, you're not picturing just morning coffee. I don't think they understood going on. though how. How, how it actually works. Well, no, no, how, like, uh, the tide works. Because they were on that sandbar for, like, 24 hours. They were, like, from, from sun up to sundown, they were on that sandbar. And that tide would have washed them away long ago. You know how Stowaway was a very quiet, long, drawn-out movie? Okay, well, this one, it was like, they gave them the script. They said, don't memorize it, just read it once, and then ad lib. It felt like... They had no chemistry on the screen, and they were just trying to, okay, what were the words again? And then say the words. See, I I think the guys, when they're just talking with each other and everything, had some chemistry with each other. Like when they're joking around with the kid when they first come in, and they make him put the spray tan on his on the guy. cap, yeah. and he says, now rub it in. And the guy, what? Rub it in. And he start, and you, the look on the other guy's face when he starts to do it is like, <clears throat> like, like I like that. That was funny. Mm -hmm. I got a kick out of that, but the romance story in this between um, Magic Mike and, and the, sister. the kid's sister, there was no, like, who liked that girl? This, well, she was cute. But, but, but she was pouty, she was moody, she, she was well, okay. like... Now imagine, okay, these are strippers. So what kind of people do you think uh, people assume strippers are? You know, you think they're part of society that are not part of the, the classy folk. And so now her brother is becoming embroiled in uh, the stripper crowd. And so a regular person is going to say, well, I already have preconceived notions of what that crowd is, and I'm not happy about it. Yes, but this movie did nothing to elate that. Like, it didn't show her going, oh, these are just regular people and everything like that after a while. And why he fell for her in this movie yeah they didn't really show up there, there was no attraction between them there was no re like she wasn't all of a sudden like super nice and super caring and that's why he started to really like her and say oh this is the way the world can be outside the stripper world and the the, the drugs and all the other stuff that we're doing this is, she's a normal job and normal stuff like that. That's what I'm striving for with my other business. None of that happened. It was like standoffish and it, I did not believe that romance at all. In fact, his character with Olivia Munn had a lot more chemistry in the brief seconds that they were on stage together than the main I I, I, I agree with your, your, your thing where you say there was no chemistry between them. I do believe in the the story, the romance story between them. Oh, I, think I just don't think they pulled it this out very entire well. movie, at all. This entire movie was literally about just guy hooks up with friend's sister. That's what the movie's about. Yeah. Now, the characters themselves, like Matthew McConaughey's character, I thought he was very charismatic. He, he did a really good job he as did. Dallas. Yeah, I agree. Um, mm -hmm. Mad Magic Mike, a uh, really good job. For his character... Uh, What's his name? Adam? Yeah, Adam, uh, the brother. He the did kid. all right. That's, that's, not a, that's not a glowing endorsement of this movie. No. They did all right. Now, let's face it. It was there for the male dance scenes. But ladies, if you're looking for the full Monty movie, this is not it. You're going to get a lot of top up dancing I was thankful and for that. chaps. I was uh, thankful for we that. We were. We, personally, we were thankful for that. Like, I don't, I don't see the big deal. Like, you got the, the two big numbers where Channing Tatum comes on the stage and he's, he's doing all those dance moves and you're going, oh, wow, but I do that every day when I come home from work. Yep, he does. <laughs> Walking in the front door. And the cats just look at him like, <laughs> like he's nuts. <laughs> the visuals. <laughs> I was really upset about, I mean, so they had the, uh, the roofing scene at the beginning. And then that roof never gets built. <laughs> yeah, like never gets. They never go back to the construction movie. site at all. The rest of the movie, right? Yeah, it's like the boat, right? Uh, no wonder, no wonder he can't finish a project. The furniture he doesn't. <laughs> he's just he starts something and he doesn't finish it. And like they try to establish that the kid's character, by the way, is like he's like a really flaky. 
He's a flaky guy because he, he gets his jobs on Craigslist. He's sleeping on his sister's couch. He has a job. Uh, oh, the, the boss accused me of taking one too many Pepsis, so I quit. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't go to that other job interview because I wear a tie. You know my rules on ties. But I guess wearing no clothes is okay, I guess, was not in his rules. It's not a tie. But I can also see he was supposed to be 19 years old. And if I would have walked into that club at 19 years old and the women that were in that club at that age that were all paying attention to him, yeah, you could get overwhelmed and things go to your head. And, you know, 19 year old, you're crazy at that point. So I can see him getting drawn into the drugs and all that stuff. But I mean, as far as a really in-depth movie and everything, I... I didn't see a big story plot. I didn't see uh, intrigue. They in weren't. They weren't. They weren't shooting for that. I know, but they they tried. That's what the side stories were. Yeah. The romance, the the club with Dallas. They have this big falling out with Dallas, and then nothing happens. He keeps dancing. Like there's no fight. He didn't walk out. He didn't do nothing. They just keep going. Well, so Dallas was right. You can't walk out. So the whole thing is basically it's a tease movie with some dance scenes in it. Um, I think I think this could have been a very entertaining movie if they didn't go the these are just low life regular people who right. happen to dance. I think if they made it like Chippendale's big extravaganza thing where it's it's really fun and you know I think it could have been a good movie. I well, hear Paul that XXL is that you might want to take a look at that one. I Magic might, Mike too. I might. I might not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder what the XXL stands for. Because <laughs> these two don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, this movie was not geared towards us. But it was a movie directly aimed at the female audience. And it was quite successful in theaters. It got a part two. And it did not cost a lot of money to make. It cost six and a half million dollars to make. Yeah. Worldwide, I think it was a hundred almost a hundred and seventy million dollars. Yeah, and a lot of those were singles. So and, and the budget was financed by uh, Channing Tatum and I think the producer or director or something like that. Just those two guys put in their money and they and look how much money it made worldwide. Yeah. And I bet you the second one did even better than that. And a lot of people are talking about, you know, uh, Matthew McConaughey's character going for an Oscar from this movie at the time. I didn't see Oscar, but I could see the speeches that he was making and the, he, he put his effort into his role. I'll give him that. Like, he's, I believe his ripped. character. He is ripped. Well, yeah, that's what he's known for. Man. <laughs> so, um, no, no, he's known for all right, all right, all right. Which he did. Which he did in this movie, too. In fact, they make him do it in almost every movie he's ever in now. <laughs> Look, they're coming over the wall. The Huns are coming over the wall. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <The Huns. laughs> yeah. And he can sing, too. Yeah. 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 He's, he's decent. He's good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> These guys are, their, their movie rating is going up for this. Uh, all right. <laughs> Not geared towards guys, but no. as guys, we decide to watch it. What do you give it? Uh, even though I know you're saying it's a chick flick, I will give this a five. Uh, I think I think it's a six. I think it's a decent six. Okay. I'm going to go five down the middle because the story itself was pretty weak. What do you want, though? It's that's I've seen movies that are that can be fun and entertaining. And they tried to go too deep into this with the story plot with the I sister agree. and everything. The side things they maybe should have left the side things. Out. And no no real resolution to any of the conflict. Yeah, oh. he, he hooked up with the sister. That's Yeah, that's the entire that's But I mean, one guy that the brother gets into drugs. Oh, I, I'll just pay it off and here's my money and now I can hook up with your sister and oh, what happened to the club? Oh, I don't know what's happening with the club because we don't know. We never end. He just walks off with his sister. They, there's no resolution. So I can't give it any higher than that. If you're into some dance scenes with some guys, that was well choreographed. Channing Tatum can dance. Yes, he can. He dances in almost every movie he's in. Because, no, because yeah. before he became an actor, he was an actual exotic dancer. Yes. Was he? Yeah, he wrote. Okay. that's why he wrote this. In fact, his second dance in this was completely ad-libbed by him. Yeah. Really? Now, just as a side note, when you get in there to watch this, look at the... the they always put the two big guys on the end because they're not dancers. <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> Tarzan. And, and uh, one's a wrestler. 
Um, so you can just, you know, he's not used to those kind of roles. You guys know a lot about male strippers. But <laughs> you should see, uh, like, you can see the other guys are just doing their things in here. And they're just kind of like, like this on the side. Just, <laughs> they're they're, they're kind of doing the move, but very little. It's, it's kind of funny to watch that when the guys in the middle are just doing everything, going all over the crate. But it's also funny, uh, CSI Miami, there's a guy, a guy from that is one of the dancers in it. So you're going to recognize people and you're going to go, wow, I didn't, why are they in this movie? And then they, they, I guess because they're ripped and they, they can dance in a lot of cases. But uh, five. five, five, six. So we didn't quite enjoy this, as you might expect, as we enjoyed the other chick flicks we've watched. And, and if you think this is a, just a girl movie, just be aware that there's going to be nudity from both sexes. In fact, more nudity from the women than the men. Yeah, that's why I was wondering, is this actually a movie for girls? Because it looks like they're kind of catering to the male audience in this. Well, a lot of the time. I guess they realize a couple boyfriends are going to be in the audience. Give them some nudity. I guess. Maybe. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> well, what a date movie. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as far as a movie is concerned, yeah, I could have took it or left it. I, we should have left it probably for us, but I can see, I can see that it, it's nice to see a movie uh, geared towards sexuality that is aimed at the female audience because it's normally aimed at us, and I can live sure. with that. So why not? There's plenty of stripper movies, showgirls, striptease. There's lots of movies that are female strippers. Uh, Night of the Blue Iguana, all kinds of movies. Name some that are about guys. <laughs> the Full Monty. There you go. A British comedy. Yeah. Challenge. Mark, seen it. Mark won't watch it. <laughs> I haven't he seen hates it. hates British comedies. I do not. I just... Uh, you Until, know. Careful. careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, let us know what you guys think down below. Did you think the story of this was actually a good story? Or did you just watch it at all? And if you haven't watched it, really other than the little dance scenes was it a really good movie or not let us know in the comments down below and until next time we'll see you on the channel